Stop, stop. I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. Ah, okay. I'm doing a skull in an hourglass. Hi everybody, Aaron, African Meat here. Thank you for coming to my channel. And today I'm going to do a skull in an hourglass made out of wood and resin that I turned. Let's go and do it. I don't know what happened to this resin. I think that I over poured and slightly got too hot and there is a yellowish, slightly yellowish color on it. So hopefully it will, when I'll polish it, it won't be so visible. Um, I'm drilling a pilot uh, drill seven millimeters, but not right through. I live in the middle. I live about five millimeters that it's not been drilled. And I'll drill it later with a two millimeter uh, drill for, this, for uh, the movement of the sand. The depthness of the of the drilling and the line that I left that you saw that I leave that would be the shape that I'll go from this line to the end of the drill and that would be the shape of the hourglass. In the meantime, as we as we shaping the hourglass, let me tell you about the skull that I'm using. Uh, some time ago, for a different project, I 3D printed a skull, and I made out of it. I made um, a silicone mold, and now every time that I've got extra extra um, resin, I, I pour it inside those skulls, and. Um, for another project for one day it will come handy and this time it came handy um, sending down I'm sending down from about 120 all the way up to 600 and then I change to um, pads uh, with water and when I finish with that, I will go into um, ANOVAS uh, 3 uh, and 2, high scratches and low scratches, um, deep scratches and medium scratches. Don't forget um, to subscribe to my channel and if you have any remarks, don't forget to write them down at the bottom. Did, did what I promised I done or uh, you want me to do any changes?
the idea for this project came when I was sitting with my attorney on a property matter and he had one on his desk and as the sand finished he says to me your time is up now attorneys calls I don't know maybe work together so it came to me let me try and do one of those and uh, that's it is I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side and I'm not going to bore you with exactly the same method that I done on the other side so it will be exactly the same. I'll, I'll turn two jump chucks that will sit exactly in, in position and uh, this way I'm holding the, the hourglass um, to cut on the, to cut the outside the shape to shape the outside. I had to be very careful not to cut too deep otherwise I'll go through and I'll have an extra hole for the sand to come out so um, I had to stop a few times measure put it back measure put it back till I got to the right uh, thickness that I wanted The same method of sending uh, from 120 all the way to 600 then using uh, a pad uh, uh, water and then using of course ANOVAS um, 3 and 2 exactly the same like I'm doing the inside I'm done on the outside. For some reason or another, and I couldn't find out yet why, suddenly it starts flicking. Uh, all the time, the, the camera is in the same position, everything is in the same position. The only thing I think that I see from here that I had a white board underneath it, maybe that's a reflection. I'll have to change my neon light to um, LED light on top and it maybe it will stop it. I'll check it for the next one. It, had, it came out clear, very clear, but still got this yellowish, slightly yellowish um, tint in it.
for the caps I'm using um, a piece of Paduk and um, I'll create a tenant and then I'll turn it around all over and create two caps from both sides. And don't forget With Paduk, I love working with Yorkshire Crit. It's not only making it smooth, it's also giving it a deep color. The groove that I'm making is for the hourglass uh, edges to sit in when I glue it. I'll glue it later with, um, with epoxy. The indentation that you see in the model is 25 millimeters wide. And that's for my brass logo that I put inside. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of this project of mine. It's a fun one. Uh, like I said before, uh, when the sand covers the skeleton, your time is up. So this time, my time is up. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumb up. And don't forget to write down at the bottom if you have any remarks. Don't forget.